Guess who I found? Verner's ghost. Listen, stranger, I have a message I must tell you. My name is Verner. I was killed by the Black Dark Gang. I beg you, avenge my death. Their hideout is in Old Mournhold Temple Sewers West. Temple Sewers West. Many have died fighting them, but there's a mechanism that can flood the room, drowning the gang. Find a lever that looks like a torch holder. You're the east end of the chamber, but whatever you do, don't get too close, or you will join me in the afterlife. I was trying to find him a long time ago, and I quit because I ran into the goblins and they were too strong. But this is fantastic. Temple Sewers West. Find a lever that looks like a torch holder near the east end of the chamber. So that's great. Apparently, they're saying that they're too strong for anyone to fight, which is not a thing I've ever seen before in this game. But good to know. So I gotta do that. Temple Sewers West, that's up there. Temple Sewers East is where I gotta go. But my adventurer sense is tingling too much. I gotta do the other things first. And before I do the other things first, I gotta do something firster. And that is... Abandoned Crypt. Unfortunately, Abandoned Crypt seems to be abandoned not because it's scary, but because it's literally blocked off by rocks. There's another entrance to it. Hopefully, I'll find that from a different direction, and it'll be all good. Now to Temple Sewers West to take on the Black Dart Gang with their clever lever contraption. Here we are. The Black Dart Gang's hideout. He said that the, um, the lever thing was in the east end of the chamber. So I'm going to have to go east. Am I east right now? Because I've been walking west. Or because it's walking me west, so... Should I look for it now? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play this one careful, though. Safe and careful, because they're dangerous, apparently. I'm just going pretty much straight west. Which makes me feel like I've already passed it. If he said it's at the east end. But I need to explore it, at least before I give up and run back. And maybe get killed by them, because I think that would be interesting to see how it works. If they're so freaking dangerous that I can't even take them on at my high-level, super-awesome self, then maybe I need to see what they've got to offer as fighters. Uh, there they are. That's gotta be them. I'm sneaking, so they're not aggroed. Is there anything this way? This is still west. What? Bat sound. Going wester. What's over here? Probably more black darts. More dead people? Alright, this is very boring. Well, here's some more people. This looks to be a hideout. Should I hit him in the back with a sword? I probably should. He's got a dart. He hit me with the dart. I died in two shots. Holy. Wow. That's ins I can't wait to flood them and then come in and find their bodies. <laughs> so it's just the, the, the mechanism is a lever that looks like a torch holder on the wall at the east end at head height. The east end is the place I came from, like right as I entered the room. This is the east end. Is it this? Yep. Literally the end. Okay. Well, I needed to see that, so that's fine. There's the torch lever. Here comes the water. The whole place is flooded. Is that it, though? I feel like I need to... Now that they're drowning, I feel like... Is there a way for me to get through here and go explore and, like, visit them? And go say, like, hey guys, you're... Can I steal your darts? Because that's awesome. It doesn't look like it, though. Oh, wait, is there... Can I breathe up here? There's air up here. Is there another one of those? I don't know. I'm going to try to move between air pockets and see if I can get back to them again, just because I'm curious. 
Well, nope, it turns out that's impossible. But, I'm gonna flip the lever back now that I, it's been... I waited till my breath was out, I left the room and came back, and I'm gonna wait again. That's too, like, full... Oh, the lever's stuck. Oh, I can't unflip the lever? I can't unflip the lever? Well, that's unfortunate. Do I have any sort of water breathing? Let me look. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of potion of water breathing or amulet of water breathing or anything like that. I feel like such a dummy. But I, um... I know that I that exists, so I'm gonna have to go to ye olde potion maker and uh, get one of those and come back because I really want to see like what their darts are and stuff. Oh, the guy was in the abandoned crypt, I think. I gotta go tell him I did that. I want to see what the, what items they have that's so awesome and dangerous, and I want to use it. Obviously, he wasn't in the abandoned crypt. I forgot. He's just gone. So, I guess I'm supposed to go tell his wife that I avenged him. Nerissa Addis. Unfortunately, I forgot where she was, because it was a while ago. Um, but I'll, I'll look that up and I'll go find her after I'm done with my other temple quest. This guy's just standing there calmly chilling with the skeleton corpses. Or the corpses' corpses. Skeletons are already corpses. Or they're actually, they were corpses, they're not even corpses anymore. And we can head to the sewers east. Oh hey! Are you a black dart also? Or are you just a guy with darts? What's going on? You're very quick. He actually got my fatigue down so far that I died and I had to do this again. So I cornered him in a closer spot. Get my restore health on. And that's it. I mean, that's so that was a black dart. Do I not have any black darts, like, in my body that I can take out and inspect? I suppose not. That was scary. So are they the people guarding the thing that I'm supposed to go find? They said there were going to be liches. Honestly, would rather fight a lich. Well, I'm going to have to. Than one of those dudes who just runs and, like, he's just kiting me, basically. Those guys are one-hit kill. The Ancestor Ghost, that is no problem. The next step on my journey was the Temple Gardens, so I went back and got this guy and walked him all the way here. Now he's gonna wait for me to go do some more heroing while he just hangs out and waits. Scared and alone. This is actually quite interesting. There's some stuff going on. Got mushrooms. Got this, like, weird symbols. Of course, we've got skeletons charging at us, but... Hey, take out your sword, please. We've got skeletons <laughs> charging at us, pathetically. But, like, there's some things happening under here, which is a little creepy. This is the first alive stuff I've seen in a while, like plants. Plants growing underground suddenly is always a bit odd, I think. And here we are at a chamber. There's a chamber of some kind. The water is glitchy, that's fine. But that looks like a statue. That, I'm sure this is the entrance to the thing. To the Shrine of the Dead. What is over here, though? That is really what I want to know. Another room. And a dead dude up there. Let me just make sure this is my ultimate destination. I mean, if this isn't the entrance to the Shrine of the Dead, I don't know what could be. Temple Shrine, yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna go explore this first, I think. Which may be nothing. And then I need to go back and get my weak, stupid adventuring buddy again. Or I actually can clear out the shrine first, but regardless, I need to get him. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Unstick me, please. This guy is a corpse with some mossy and grief. And a chitin spear and a shield. Nothing nothing exciting. Is there something behind his shield? No. Alright. What's this? Gedna Relville's tomb. 
A locked tomb? I can't not go in a locked tomb. Come on now. I can't not go in a locked tomb. A rancid stench nearly overwhelms you. This is not the smell of the dead. There is something else here. Uh-oh. That sounds unpleasant. What could that be? There's some kind of... smelly burner thing. Um... I don't like that. I'm getting a bad vibe here. Getting a really bad vibe from the rancid smell and the burner and the warning text. I don't like this. There's another door. Is this leading me out? It's just a door. Well, let's see. There's a lot of these, like, coffin-y things. Just kind of laying around. And there were chests around them. There was a chest back there. There's another chest in here. They're coffins, but they have this symbol on them. Kind of like three-pointed weird star thing. And this is a dead end, isn't it? That's a dead end. Okay. Yeah, see, there's the star on those, too. But that was just a door, so what the heck was that? I gotta go a little further. Or this way. We've got some... Stones with runy symbols. And the sound of skeletons clamoring. Anything in the crates with silver cup. Bunch of spells. Scroll of Fader's Fader's Leaden Flesh, Grey Sloth, Spell. These are all like people's spells. Well, I'm taking that. Small chest. Nothing interesting. What about this urn? Squama eggs. Nothing. Nothing remarkable. And that's just a, a brazier. It's burning, but it's just a... Hmm. So, there's only really one, like... Was there a place for me to go? How do I get up there? There's a pathway over here. Is there an up I can go? There must have been an alternate way around. I gotta find that. Oh, I went up. Okay. This is interesting. There's something behind this wall. Or somewhere. When you walk up to it, there's like a skeleton rustling sound. And it very obviously looks like a door. And that's very clearly a door. So the question is, how do I open the door? I don't see any kind of button or... Like, like lever or anything. But, maybe one of the spells I picked up? They're just spells, though. Detect key. That could be useful. Dispel. I'm not sure. Let me go through and look around one more time and make sure I didn't miss anything. I have to say, that was a little disappointing. There's nothing there. I had to look it up, and... It's, uh, I gotta talk to somebody in town first before that door opens and that triggers a new quest. That's, I don't like that. That's kind of silly. I, like, if I can find it before I talk to the person, I should be able to 
explore it at least. Like, maybe the person won't be there, but like, to show me that there's a, a locked door, but not let me get past it, is a little frustrating, but also very non, very distinctly un Morrowind. Morrowind lets you, like, stumble on things you're not ready for and screw things up, like, really badly if you're not prepared, so... I don't like that I have to do that. Like, that didn't even occur to me that it was a quest thing that I couldn't do yet. But I'm gonna do it, you know. When I go back to town at some point, I'll talk to the person, I'll come back, maybe. If I remember, I'll come back and do that. And, and we'll see. <laughs>